have you had this moment where you tell your wife, Hey honey, I'm gonna go to the garage and change the spark plug on my motorcycle. And then you end up with a motorcycle looking like this. I was riding with it. I was doing like stoppies and I thought that maybe the gasoline from the carburetor was filling up the combustion chamber and was making the spark plug wet. I came here to just take off the spark plug and then I started searching for the fault in the electric system and I ended up with ripping apart all of it. So at first I, like I told you, I removed the spark plug, cleaned it up then I checked the ignition coil by using it on my moped. Because this electric system is custom fitted on this motorcycle from a moped like this one. Somebody has made a pretty good job on it. Then I tried this dead man's switch, but this is faulty. Maybe this was the main reason for the motorcycle not having spark. So I removed it and it still didn't work. Then I thought that maybe this faulty dead man switch was causing the CDI to fail, uh, which is here. But that wasn't the case because I tried this CDI also on my moped and it was working. It's mind-boggling that I built this electric system myself, but I don't remember where anything is anymore. Here's the plug. I'm gonna plug this one in. Let's see if this works. So then I pulled all of this. This thing is the pickup coil. I measured the restriction and it was giving the same result like uh -huh. 0.1 So I'm gonna test the coils chose nothing the other one the spare part 0.32 so I'm gonna change this coil to this one So the coil is changed, let's see what happens. Now that's what I call a spark. So what has happened now is I put on my motorcycle shoes. I did mess around with the ignition to make it more retarded, but it still wasn't enough and I <laughs> broke the lever. This thing is custom fitted onto the crankshaft. Well, it does have a keyway, but uh, they don't line up. I could move this uh, plate here, but the pickup coil will be hitting the crankcase so these holes here on that ignition plate are pretty useless and um, if I want to adjust the uh, ignition I, I'm gonna have to pull this rotor off and put it back slightly on a different angle so it's a pain in the butt I pulled off the flywheel and rotated it a little bit. I did it actually like four times. The first three times I failed, like I showed you, I broke the kickstart lever, but I can consider myself now a professional flywheel puller. All or nothing.
Yes, it works now. I did use this homemade tool that some of you don't like. It worked and the motorcycle still works. So no damage to the piston like some of you said. All good. Uh, to pull off the flywheel I used this thing. If you can get your hands on to this one it's way better. I changed out one of the coils in the ignition, the spark plug coil, spark plug connection to the coil, spark plug wire. The rectifier redid some wiring, so yeah, now it works. I removed the, also the dead man switch, which was faulty, 